Hey guys, Rocket Play here once again. What's up, everybody? So, I know this is old news, but I wanted to put in my two cents since I found out, since I've followed the, since I've, I've you know got a history with these games, and that is Aqua Dream, the amazing or one article said, and I agree, legendary developers behind the amazing Mario and Luigi RPG series has filed for bankruptcy. I'm like, what? How how is that even possible? It's like kinda like it's kinda like finding out that Game Freak went out of business is is filing for bankruptcy. This seems un, unheard of. They've done the incredible series like Mario's and Luigi Superstar Saga to Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story, Dream Team, and, and their last um game, uh Paper Jam. I played everything but Paper Jam, but I'm en I've enjoyed every one so far. And granted, did a remake on Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. But I did hear that Bowser's Inside Story kind of f the, the the remastered version on 3DS kind of flopped. But anyway, it flops all to the point that it, it caused them to go bankrupt. Is this shocking to me? You know, is this you know? And the thing is, I like you know the, their RPG series, and it's coming from a guy who likes mostly first person slash third person shooters, you know, I like, you know, Gears, Uncharted, Halo, um, Borderlands, Max Payne, just to give some examples of games that I, that I play that I love of that genre, and for a, a series with Mario and Luigi, it's an RPG turn-based series, for me just, I'm not really a big fan of that, and for me to not only like it, but love the series, love you know the 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 colorful, beautiful sprites, the amazing, addictive not only amazingly addictive gameplay, the clever writing, just of like a great storytelling, just of great writing, and just also very funny writing too at times. There's some of the times I I laughed out loud and even got a little chuck out of it. It's just it it always puts a smile on my face. It's always artistically beautiful. The gameplay is always imaginative and great they're always changing the formula in great and creative ways that only nintendo could could do and and oh i mean is this is this sad that that it, it's that it's come to this and um it shocks me to my core obviously nintendo because of the bankruptcy they i believe they have the rights to the martin luigi rpg series um obviously but I hope, honestly, in my opinion, I would like for Nintendo to buy, to buy the company and save them because they were gonna do it to Atlas. Fun fact: But Sega outbidded them, so I'm really hoping that Nintendo swoops in and saves Alpha Dream because they're they're a great developer. They proven their, they they proven their worth. You know, I mean, all the other people who are doing Paper Jam, they the ones should be bankrupt to be honest because like not Paper Jam but the Mario Paper Mario series because Sticker Star. And the ones on since Sick of Star have just been just declining. The series people are saying it was, it's been slowly getting worse, but then Sick of Star was the breaking point. Even then, the Wii U version of the Sick of Star franchise that came out didn't do too hot, and it, it was mixed. I mean, it was a little bit of Sick of Star, but not by much. But still, the Mario Luigi RPG the Mario Luigi RPG series has always been consistent. In my opinion, has gotten even better. Each game just gets better and better and better and better. Dream Team is my favorite so far. Like I said, I haven't, I'm still going through Paper Jam, but that could change. But the point is, is that I just really would love Nintendo to swoop in and save them because they deserve to be saved. They're an amazing developer. Like I said, this is, this is coming from a guy who loves first-person slash third-person shooters, and I love their RPG franchise. This is coming from a guy like me who likes shooters made me fall in love with their RPG series. So please, Nintendo, I don't ask for a lot. I mean, I'm getting, well, I'm getting Doom 64, so I'm happy with that. That's coming out in November. The same time, the same time uh, Doom and, and Turtles coming out, though I would have released it, in my opinion, released it during Halloween to give, to whet people's appetite for the eventual release of Doom Eternal. That's how I would do anyway. But point being Nintendo, please, 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 please. Save this developer. They're they're an amazing team. They they make great gameplay. That's great gameplay. Beautiful graphics. Great writing. 
they show that they care, they, they care and love these characters. So please, in return, please save this company. Please, Nintendo. I will be internally grateful if you um, bail them out. Because they deserve it. Please, please, bail them out. I will hate for them to go out of business. Please. Because her loot crate got saved by some Elvis company, which is like... I find, I find that hilarious. So even then, if, if people still feel that it's, they're doomed, it's like only stopping the inevitable. But so please, but please, Nintendo, don't let them be a statistic. Please, I'm begging you to save them. Please. And even Koopa's heartbroken about that. He doesn't. Even, he didn't even, I brought it up, so he didn't even want to talk about it. I don't blame him. He's, he loves that series, and so do I. So please, Nintendo. Please, save this company. I mean, save the developers and that company. That's all I ask. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What was your favorite game from the team? Um, do you like the five games that they released throughout, throughout, throughout developing the Mario the Luigi RPG series? Do you like the remakes? What was your first game? Um, mine was at the very beginning. Well, believe, believe it or not, um, mine was Bowser Inside Story. Funny story, I thought Bowser Inside Story was going to be about why Bowser is the way he is, like, going to, like, his history of how he became evil and and the, and the, and the and start the rivalry. Now the rivalry started between Mario and Louis and between Mario and Metro Luigi, but it's certain... And then I saw this commercial, these little kids explaining how, like, Mario and Luigi's going inside Bowser's body, kind of like, you, you, you fight the germs inside his body while Bowser fights people outside. And I'm like, wait, is this the same game? Then then the commercials show the title, like, oh, it is. Well, I guess I read more into it than I thought, well... <laughs> I told that story to Koopa, he lolled hard. It, it was funny, because, like, oh, cool, we're getting an origin story of Bowser. Just, I thought this was interesting. It's like, is this the same game? Oh. I guess they meant literally, not just as in, like, backstory. They're literally going inside Bowser's body. Hey, man. Who knows? Maybe they maybe should be their sixth game, do an origin story of, like, how their rivalry started. I'm pretty sure if Nintendo saves, I'm pretty sure people had to see a game like that. I would, and I'd gladly pay for it. Because they've proven their worth. Alright guys, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Your favorite game for them. I love, I'll try to respond as fast as humanly possible. I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on this sad situation that's happening with them. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, this is Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out. And have a great day.